Let's make some chainmail with the array modifier. You can learn more on my website. To make some chainmail and make a cube, add a color and make it more spicy, squish it down. And then we got some 20 by 20 by 10. Name that the main chain. Then we can add some little smaller cubes, pull them over to the side, mirror modify those bad boys, rename them the cutter cubes, and then bull tool difference them. And then we can do it again. But this time, do it a little bit higher, add the mirror modifier, and do it on the Y. And then bull tool those together. Then you can move the bounding boxes around to make all the sides nice and even. Then what you want to do is take those two items, drop them onto the main chain, rotate it 45 degrees. Now we can add our arrays. Do the constant offset and just start twiddling those numbers until the corners link up like this. Then you can duplicate the array, do the same thing on that one until you got a nice little patch of chain mail. Then you can crank up the chain mail as crazy as you want to make the chain mail as big as you want. I'm just going to leave mine small and you can even modulate it so all the chain changes the other chains. Throw it in your favorite slicer and then print that thing and you got some chain mail. If you want to learn how to make chain mail step by step, you can go over to my website where we are learning how to be the best 3D print designers on the planet. You can also check out my playlist up in the top corner where you can learn everything you need to know inside of Blender right now. So what are you waiting for? Let's start designing some stuff. Come on!